Thanks for being with us. Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez is in the hospital after being seriously hurt during an incident near Tampa. We well, thank you for being with us. The shocking news was released and revealed overnight. So many questions remain after confirmation from police that Ramirez is suffering from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. We have live team coverage today from reaction from the community to the latest details revealed. But let's begin with Steve Litz, who is in Tampa, uh, and you spoke to the sheriff. What are you getting about what happened? And, and first, ladies, let's talk about Freddie Ramirez, right? The director of the department, longtime Miami-Dade police officer, uh, beloved by many here, high profile. And so he is here at the Florida Sheriff's Association meeting here in downtown Tampa, regularly scheduled meeting. And Freddie Ramirez, while he's not the sheriff, he is the highest ranking police officer in Miami-Dade. He was going to run for sheriff in 2024. So it's certainly appropriate for him to be at the Sheriff's Association meeting. According uh, to investigators, this incident happened last night with the sheriff here in Hillsborough County telling us this started as a domestic dispute between Ramirez and his wife, and then they left the hotel. There may be an, an incident here where hotel staff asked Ramirez to leave the hotel. We'll st we're still getting preliminary information and confirming a lot of this, but as the sheriff in Hillsborough County confirms Ramirez and his wife left here, headed south. The sheriff presumes Ramirez was headed back to Miami. And then the sheriff here says that when Ramirez got to the south end of Hillsborough County, he pulled over on the side of I-75 and then uh, shot himself with his wife in the car. That is according to a source. A source also telling us that she is the one who called 911. The Florida Highway Patrol responded. They are investigating. So is the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Uh, Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, she got this news and rushed right up here so she could be by Ramirez's side as well as be uh, in support of him as well as his family. Others are here too. As we said, Ramirez was interested in running for the sheriff's post, that November election happening coming up here in 2024. Senator Rick Scott is here talking to the Sheriff's Association. You're going to hear from him first. I listen to the Hillsborough County Sheriff talk about some of the details of this incident. We believe from what we can tell, processing the evidence to this point in interviews that were conducted, that it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We do know that he probably has a long road ahead, a lot of surgeries, but he is going to survive. But Freddie's been you know, there the entire time as governor, I think, and I dealt with him the entire time as governor, so. Um, what was he uh, like as a, someone to Oh, he, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't ask for a more respectful person, somebody that cares about others. Um, and um, and wants to do a good job. I mean, he just, I talked to him probably three weeks ago. Um, so, and so, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Do you know Immediately after this incident happened, Ramirez was rushed here to Tampa General Hospital, which is just right near the hotel here. Uh, and again, the latest information we have is that he is in critical but stable condition and he did hear the sheriff here in Hillsborough County talk about how Freddie Ramirez is expected to survive more on this as we learn more we'll bring it to you. I'm in Tampa. I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.